Tiregulo Sambo de Leila Crib. Before you start, make sure you have all the correct parts and hardware. If not, please call consumer care. One way to make sure you have the correct hardware is to compare the hardware with the illustrations that come in the instructions, like that. The first step is to attach the post to the side of the crib. One way to know you're working on the correct side is having the label facing upwards. For this step, we will need six 45 millimeter bolts, four 60 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, and an Allen wrench. Always remember the barrel nut should go sideways because that's where the bolt is gonna go through. And remember, always use the shirt side of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolt. Like that. Now repeat on the other side. And you're done with the first step. The next step is to attach the stabilizer bar and front rail to the sides of the crib. We will need four metal pins, four barrel nuts, and four 85 millimeter bolts. If you're working by yourself, it's better to do it with the pieces on the floor. Remember to put the barrel nut on sideways. And don't forget to use the shirt part of the Allen wrench to do the last tight. And now repeat on the other side. We're done with this step. Now we're going to work on the mattress support. For this step, you will need four 18 millimeter bolts. Remember to 
remember to use the highest position for a newborn and then go downwards once the child grows. Always use the short part of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolt. Now we're going to work on the back rail. Once again, use this label as guidance. It should be facing inside. And for this step, we will use two barrel nuts and two 85 millimeter tools. Always use the short part of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolt. Like that. And we're done with that step. Finally, we will work on the top back rail. You will need two metal pins, four barrel nuts, and four 85 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Don't forget to put your assembly instructions away in the pouch that comes with the mattress support. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Lila crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you stored away? You're going to need them. As a child is bigger now, the mattress support should be on the lowest position. The first step is to remove the front rail. To make this easier, you can loosen up one of the sides of the mattress support. Don't forget that with the bolt, you also have the barrel nut. Now we have to reattach the stabilizer bar. For this, you will need two metal pins, two barrel nuts, and two 85 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to reattach your mattress support. And you're done with your conversion. Toddler guardrails are available for purchase.